the MySQL connector slash net code we're looking at today is both an extension of the ones we looked at previous in the previous video and completely different. The one we're talking about today is uh, select from and also uh, MySQL data reader. MySQL data reader is the uh, connector slash net object and select from is the MySQL command that's associated with it. You remember in the previous video we basically typed in a genre and pressed add genre and added it to a genre table and the format of the genre table was this. We created it previously with the create table and the name of course was genre the first field was genre ID which was an int and the second field was name which was a varchar and the varchar is what gets filled in with the genre we type in but we actually don't write the genre ID to the table the genre ID is of type auto increment so that basically means when we insert into the table into the name this takes care of itself if whatever the previous number was it increments it by one and saves that as the value. So if the previous genre ID was four, it'll increment that to five and save that as the number. And once we do the insert, we use an information function from MySQL called uh, last insert ID to get what the ID was uh, generated by the auto increment and we save both the genre name we typed in and the ID that got generated in this list box. And of course the glaring flaw to this program is it works fine the first time we run it, but the second time we run it, it we won't know what the genres were that we typed in previously. So we might type in the same genre again. So in order to solve this problem we use the uh, select from and the MySQL data reader is sort of a team and the format of the select from is select field names from and then the table name so the table name here is going to be genre and we actually want to get both fields every time so the format is slightly modified to be select asterisk from genre which where asterisk is all the fields in the table and the format of the MySQL data reader is MySQL data reader the object name equals MySQL command object dot execute reader and this is the third execute uh, method in MySQL command we already looked at the other two MySQL uh, rather execute scalar and execute uh, non-query. And once you've both instantiated and populated the data reader via this command, you can go through and look at each of the records individually with the uh, read method of the data reader object. And this will keep return turning a, a record or a row until it runs out of records and then it'll return a null so it works extremely well nested inside a while loop. So basically what gets returned by the uh, execute reader is what's known as a result table. And a result table is like any other uh, relational database table. It's basically an XY matrix. And the way that looks is this basically on the X you have the field names which are also known as the columns in a standard matrix uh, way of expressing it so A, B, C, D would be the fields of the record so this is presumably related data that's saved together in a table this could be employee ID employee first name, employee last name and employee number you know something along that line and then each of the numbers along the side of the table is the 
rows or the records. So this is the first record. This would be employee John Smith, who has an ID of one and uh, employee number of 1567 or whatever. And the second one is the second employee and so on. In the case of our table, of course, we only have two uh, columns or two fields. So we have genre ID and name. And then we have any number of records. It's always an open numbered open-ended number of records. As long as you keep doing a search, you'll add new records or new rows. And in order to actually retrieve the uh, data that we've gotten with the reads, when we do the read, we get one record, which is made up of several fields. And in order to retrieve that, we use the uh, data reader object name, a square bracket, a quotation mark, and the field name. So this would be whatever the data reader object name is, quotation mark, genre ID, for instance, quotation mark, and n square bracket. So you can retrieve all the fields from the record we've just gotten with the read. Well, if we look at the actual code for this, the uh, select from and data reader code is all in the form load because we want to read it in right at the start of day as we bring up the uh, form. And basically we have our connection string defined at the top and globally defined MySQL connection and MySQL command objects. And then within the uh, form load we have a local string name, a local uh, ID which correspond to the two fields of the record. And then we have a list item, which corresponds to writing the, the line out in the list box. And we instantiate the MySQL connection using the connection string and open the connection. And then we create our SQL statement, which is select asterisk from genre. In other words, select all the fields from the genre table and then create our my SQL command object using this uh, SQL statement and this connection. And once we have this uh, MySQL command object established, we use the execute reader method of the command to get the result table back, the XY table back, and put it in a MySQL reader object, which we call MDR. And then we have the while loop that does a MDR read. So the while will keep executing as long as the MDR.read doesn't return a null or a false. And once it's read a record, we get the uh, MDR uh, square bracket quotation mark genre ID quotation mark square bracket value, convert it to an integer, and put it in our local integer ID and then do the same thing with the name field. We have to convert that to a string and put that in our local string name. And then we create our uh, list box line by concatenating the uh, name with a parent and then the ID and an ending parent so that this basically is what gets written to the list box. The plus, of course, is string concatenation in C sharp. And then we use the list box items add to add this line to the list box. And that's the code that's different. The other code is essentially the same that we talked about in the last video. It uh, does inserts into the uh, genre table at the end of the table and then gets the uh, last ID with the last insert ID information function and writes them out to the list box so that we're adding to the end once we've read in all the new ones so we know what's already there. So if we compile and run this, you see it, it initially reads in all the genres that are already saved in the table. And these were added in the previous video and I've added some more since then. We go all the way up to ID9 which is romantic comedy and say if I want to add another genre of uh, detective which 
which I don't think I have in there, and do an add genre. We look at the end and that's been added to the table with a generated ID of 10 and say uh, fantasy and do an add genre and that comes up with ID 11 and fantasy. So the code essentially works and we know what's already saved by the form load writing all the saved genres from the table using the select from and the MySQL data reader as sort of a team up. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.